Hi, Sandy Risner here, and i um, here to kind of show an idea of um, journals and the varieties as uh, requested by one of our members. Um, so the first journal I'm going to show is more of a vintage style. Um, and it's a book cover that I gutted, took out the insides to then add the signatures in. If you don't know what a signature is, um, any book has them. It's a group of pages put together and then that's sewn into the seam or the, um, sometimes they're a floating spine of the book. And if you take any regular book and look, you'll see where there's little sections of those groups of pages. So we take that out and then use the cover for our journal. Um, but again, journals come in all, you can use notebooks, you can, you know, use multiple of things to make a journal, the outside as well as the inside, or work with a notebook or uh, whatever else you may have. But um, I, this cover has this uh, paper that I used has like a suede kind of feel to the um, the image. So, and I sewed my signatures in and then I used lace to cover up the spine. Some people like to show the strings of the signature. It's all a matter of personal taste. I just don't know if I'm going to do anything more with the cover because I kind of hate to cover it up. Haven't really decided on that. But anyway, this is more of a vintage style of book. Um, vintage in, in a lot of it is, um, you know, you're using book pages or documents that are older. Um, but then again, they, they're a little bit more fragile. But it, it's really more a style. And you don't, you can kind of do like this one. It's a vintage style, even though I don't have a lot of vintage um, papers or documents and that kind of thing in it. So just a quick flip through. Um, not totally completely done with this or the other two books that I'm going to show you. But just basically an inside cover here. I made a pocket with book page and some um, antique looking lace. And in here I have two journal cards that I made. And on the back they're, they're plain so that I can journal on them. And I'm just going to show you some of the elements that you can add. Um, here again, your pages can be all different sizes and textures and um, whatever you want to add into your journal. Um, here is like an old library card. Um, pocket that then I just covered with paper and same here and I have room for journaling and here's a coffee dyed uh, doily here's just some of the pattern paper that has um, an embossing on it I don't know if that's coming through at all um, some of the pages I haven't filled yet or want to leave blank for either journaling or photos that I'll be adding in later um, here again, another pocket that has that embossing on it. And I, I need to make a journal card for in here as well. But um, I did make a little booklet that I filled with coffee dyed papers for journaling. And I could probably do some embellishing of ephemera and stuff on the, the cover of that. Here is coffee dyed paper, which I stamped on um, for journaling. Here's what they call a side pocket or side tuck. Um, and then I have a, in here, this is what they call um, a cluster. And you just group different things together to, to make a, a image or um, decorative piece for on top of some of your card, journal cards or whatever. But this one folds out, so it's a little like booklet. And then that just tucks in there and I um, stained some of the lace to match the, the card there. And here's some ledger paper. Here's another coffee dyed paper with um, I did with a doily to give an impression there. Um, here's a page that has two pockets for journaling cards. Again, that embossed and then it's plain on the back. 
and those slide in the pockets uh, where two pages are glued together. So then I decorated um, this. I could have made this another additional pocket. You can go crazy, but um, you know, you got to watch how much you're filling your book up because as you can see this is pretty chunky and I'm not totally done with it. And I had to remove, I originally put in three signatures and ended up having to pull one out. So um, things like these little booklets add a lot of depth to <laughs> the book and it can fill up pretty fast. Anyway, this is the uh, other side of that page. And then again, coffee dyed paper that's been stamped on. And here again is what we call a cluster. Just arranging some book page and a quote and a stamp and a butterfly, a number and some bling um, on that pocket to decorate it up a little bit. And inside here, um, this looks like an envelope. It's got a Velcro, Velcro closure, but it actually folds out to give you uh, more journaling space. And then here again is just, um, this one's more of a flip up kind of booklet. And again, trying to stay with the vintage type theme and colors and whatnot. So here again is another pocket with uh, that that's been embossed um, with some lace. And the paper behind it has stamps and things on it. And here again is another flip up journaling card with some lace on that. And then this page is just a decorative uh, decorative piece. And then there's another pocket with a journaling card. So you can see where you, the um, all these little elements of pockets and cards, they just add and give you more journaling options. And here again, I, I've left this page blank for either journaling or you know photos. Um, not really, you know, sure yet. I just, um, again, wanted to make sure I left myself some blank pages. Uh, most of the journaling will be on these coffee dyed. And here's the middle of the signature. I Most people use a three-hole pamphlet stitch. Um, I do five, just I feel more secure about it. And um, these are one of the first books that I did where they tell you to tie the knot in here. Um, some people will put beads on it, but then again, it's going to make your book really thick. Um, I have started to do it in the reverse so that the knot is on the outside, which will be covered up by lace or whatever material, um, I use to do on the spine. Here, um, I have, uh, these clips that I made. They're, um... Kind of like, I don't want to say paper clip, but they clip onto the end of the page. And then I can um, have a, I've, uh, can put a journaling card or something there. I just haven't made one yet. And you can do the same on the other side or just leave it as a decorative piece. Um, this is a pocket that was made out of um, magazine pages. So they're a little bit thinner. Um... And then, of course, they have a journaling card or tag in there. And then it's covered up, of course, with um, paper, decorative scrapbooking paper. And a lot of this stuff is just using up scraps that I have left over from scrapbook pages or other projects that I've done. Um, here, again, is just a decorative piece of paper. And this is the same. And, again, it's about putting motivational quotes or, you know, whatever has meaning to you and what you want to make it personal. Um, here again is uh, two pockets. And this time I, I did them different uh, backgrounds and did the clusters on them. And here again is just a, a I love the, the piece and uh, the image and just added some verbiage for inspiration. And then we're back to the ledger paper. Here I had made a side tuck pocket with another journaling card. And decorated the front. And added the butterflies and some bling onto the side tuck. 
some more coffee dyed paper for journaling. Here's another pocket page. And this, um, I made it so it looked like tickets that, you know, it's together. So, I mean, it folds out. I don't know if you can see the whole thing or not. And I did some glossy accenting on the images to give them some depth. But those are all clusters and, and lace added on. And then the back is blank. And I can either, again, add photos or um, journaling or if I wanted to add, write journaling on another piece of paper and then paste it on there, I can. The other thing with these is that you can always separate them after you make them and just have individual cards. But I really like the way it came out um, being folded. But again, it adds some bulk to the book. Uh, here's another doily, another uh, page in paper. And then onto the second, I again removed the middle signature. Now I'm on my second one. And again, this just shows paper pages can be all different various sizes. They don't all have to be uh, the big size. It just depends on how much real estate you want. Um, here again is a journal card, just in um, a side tuck. And this one I just left simple and added some lace. Um, usually with the vintage, it's a lot about lace and and trying to give that old feel to the book in your style of papers. And um, here's a, what we call a belly band. And then you can tuck things in it. Here's a journaling card, which of course is blank. And I inked it up a little bit to make it look even more, you know, older aged. Um, here again is just a blank page for photos. Here's another journaling card, and this is called a uh, tuck. Um, and this tuck, I actually um, made it with, out of pockets, or it was using a book page, and I made it so it had pockets. So I have a spot for additional tags there. One in front, and then a little one in the very front. Um... And then, of course, I added just some verbiage there. But instead of gluing it totally down onto the page, I only glued the, the bottom and the side. So now I have a tuck spot that I can add journaling cards or tags to. Um, here's for more journaling space, more coffee dyed paper. This is a bigger pocket. And again, I need to add, uh, make another journaling card or whatnot. Um, this, again, is a big cluster. And then this little piece here is uh, just tied with Baker's twine. And it, op it opens up like this. And then there's these um, long tags for journaling in there. And I'll tie that back up later. Um, but I do need to make uh, another journaling card for that. Again, left this plain for now, um, but I think you get the idea. I don't know how much more I have completed. There's some more ledger paper, uh, coffee dyed paper. Oh, here's one I, I do have, which is another deep pocket. And again, I have a journaling card and um, this was some vintage um, like no um, sheet music. And this was actually part of the sheet music for what the song was. It was this image. So I just tore that out and um, put that on there. Um, and this, a lot of this stuff, oh, and doilies besides the lace is a lot. Um, you see that a lot in the vintage books. Um, a lot of this stuff is older things. Um, and I didn't really have a lot of that kind of stuff. So... If you go to like Salvation Army or some of these resale stores, you can pick up older books that are very yellowed on the pages and or things that date back to early 1900s or even 1800s um, documents, things like that. Um, and there are printables that you can get on the internet that you can download and print your own. Um, but again, the whole concept of vintage is um, just that more aged look. And then I guess uh, here's another 
um, pocket that I made. Um, these are just torn down at angles. And then I made some journal cards, tags again, um, to put in those pockets. So it, it's just to decorate up the page and, and give you some additional elements. And then on the back one here again, same kind of side tuck. And then I made this uh, journal card to go in it, doily and that. And then here's the back page, which I just have this one uh, journal card in. And I probably need to make some tags and other things. But that's kind of the idea of a vintage book. It's more the feel or style. And as well as, um, you know, if you can get a hold of books that are older um, and aged, it just adds that extra, I don't want to say richness, to the um, making it a vintage book. So that was that one. This next one I'm going to show, same kind of thing. I ended up pulling out the spine, or the third middle signature, because it was just getting too chunky. Um, this one on the back, the book was green, so I kind of went with that as a theme. Um, and this is how I decorated the front. And... The back I left plain, and then I put, of course, lace here to cover up where my signatures were sewn in. And so this one has a little bit of a different feel to it. Um, it's a little bit more modern. Um, again, pockets um, with cluster in the front, and I just had some journaling cards that I made. Uh, different size paper. And again, um, and here I just used plain white paper. I don't think I used any coffee dead paper um, just to give it a crisper look. But I just want to show you some of the elements in, in this one is um, this is like a stacked pocket so the tags get bigger and as they, they um, you get to the end because they have a deeper deeper pocket on it. And then you can just glue it onto your page. This is just a small page there. Here's more of that same paper um, that you saw in the other book, the vintage style, and it's a pocket, and then I made a journal card, and then, of course, decorated the, the front, um, again, plain page, um, so here again is that side tuck with a journal card, and here again is, um, a corner pocket with a, uh, journal card tucked and sometimes you know the paper is just beautiful itself and you don't have to always add clusters or other elements to it so um now here um this was uh what we call a snippet roll where you just uh glue strips of paper together and you have a big long strip that you'll eventually roll up that's why it's called a snippet roll and then you decorate that roll with a bunch of ephemera and then you can just snip off sections of it um, as you like to the size that you need. And it's a quick way of, of doing, instead of like a cluster, um, you use your snippet rolls. But anyway, um, so in this pocket there's, again, some journaling cards, tags um, put in there for, for extra journaling space. Um, let me try to flip through this real quick. Here's uh, another tag, and here is an envelope made out of a book page as a Velcro closure. And so you can put little ephemera and goodies in there. Uh, just some more journaling pages. Again, this is a piece of that snippet roll, just another journal card. Um, here's a smaller page with a pocket. And in here I made like a coin envelope so then you can add um, either notes or little pieces of of uh, mementos or you know secret little notes that you want to put in there that you don't want people to read um, here again another piece of the um, snippet roll a big journal tag card and then this envelope again opens up with velcro and then it opens up as um, kind of an accordion pocket 
So you have four different pockets in there to put things. But again, this adds a little bit of a bulk to the book, and that's why I had to pull out that middle signature. And again, just journaling cards, side tucks. You've already shown, seen that. Um, some blank pages that I'm not sure if I just want to use for photos or um, and writing and journaling and things of that nature. So um, here's another pocket. This is using um, window envelopes that you, like you get your bills or whatever in and then covering over the paper and then having a window there to see paper behind it. And then there's this journaling card. So you only glue it down on the three sides to the page so that you have another pocket. Um, here is, okay, so this was a white paper bag. And I, um, to give it some sturdiness, I added paper to it and then um, have a tab on a journaling card that goes in this pocket. And a lot of this stuff is just using up pieces of uh, leftover scrap paper. Um, like I said, for mother, here's another one with the window. Oops. And I think my, it's a little stuck. Hmm. Oh, let me see here. Sorry about that. Let's see if I can unstick it here. Yeah, I don't know. It wasn't like there was any glue there, but anyway. Then this slides up, and then you can see behind it, you put uh, decorative paper. So it has a window there. That's... Uh, Again, just some more plain paper. Uh, in this pocket, here's again more of the snippet roll. This is a little, um, well, here's here's just a tag that I made for journaling on. And again, it's got that glossy accents on it. This, um, it has a little dangle charm that I made. And this is called a light bulb clip because it looks like a light bulb. And it's just attached on with that. But these are really easy to make. I could show that if it's something, any of this stuff, if you're interested in learning how to make, I can show you how. Um, but this flips up. And then you just have this. Um, it's not really an accordion. It has um, side, uh, I don't know if they're called gamuts or whatever. But anyway, it's so that your pocket can open up a little bit wider. And you can put things in it. And then uh, just for those tiny little things that momentums or whatever that you may have that you want to keep. So I want it that way because I want the tag to get caught on there. Um, and just again, some more blank pages. This is two pockets. Here's the middle of the signature. And, you know, again, journaling cards. And our tags. Oh, here's another envelope that folds out for journaling space. Those are really easy to make and they don't take up that much space in your book. Um, here again, just another one of those pocket. It's made out of a, a window envelope, a recycling. Um, we always try to use up things that we can recycle with in our projects. These are made, uh, again, are pockets for tags. This here, the same here. But these um, pockets were actually made from toilet paper roll, um, the inserts, the cardboard piece, um, flattened out and glued down, and then they make pockets. Um, again, they had a little bit more bulk than using the magazine pages, but... They're really quick and easy to do and, and kind of fun elements. Um, here on this page, again, this is the other half of the white paper bag. Um, in here, I have a pocket or a tuck, per se, um, because I, I, can, I can put a card behind here. I just haven't made one yet. 
Um, so this opens up and inside here is a pocket made of lace. So I can put another tag in there. And then this piece folds forward and it's just lined with some coffee dyed paper. So you have an additional kind of hidden journal spot. So again, uh, there may be some things that you want to write. Um, they're just kind of little secret tuck spots uh, for journaling. Um, here's another journal card that goes inside the uh, paper bag um, pocket. And again, some more blank pages. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what to fill in with yet or not. Uh, here's another, again, of the window envelope pocket. I had a couple of them that I made and put in here. And then the back pocket again. Um, just some journal. This is actually a postcard. Um, and then a big journaling tag that I made. So you can just kind of see a lot of some of the same type of concepts with pockets and tags. And just um, putting them in, in different um, patterns of paper or, you know, the style of the book. And I'm going to show you a couple soft journals that I just finished. These are soft cover journals. And um, they kind of have a nice squishy feel to them. What I did was I took, you can use, um, if you don't have craft paper or, or to the size that you want, you can always use like brown paper bags from the grocery store or um, whatever. And anyway, I layered between two pieces of um, brown paper bag, the Amazon, um, sometimes when you get it, you get it in this kind of bubble wrap envelope, whatever it is you purchase, rather than a box, depending on what you're buying. And I put that, sandwiched that in between my two layers of brown paper bag and then I um, stitched around the outside all the way around. So now I created this soft squishy folder. So you don't have to use book covers. There's lots of other options. Um, here's the paper collection that I used and again sometimes the paper is already beautiful, has a cluster on it, um, but I, it was just kind of flat and I wanted to kind of bring it to life a little bit. So I used glossy accents and um, did that over certain elements that I wanted to kind of make it look a little bit three-dimensional. And that is a perfect, it's one of my favorite products. Um, so and then the inside cover, again, I have a pocket. This I used vellum because I didn't want to cover up this whole image of that page. Um, but I have some tags and journaling um, cards in there. And this was um, put together too, same concept as the other books with signatures, only this is one big signature. Um, here's some coffee dyed paper that I did. I'll try to flip through this pretty quick. Um, here's some tags. This folds out. And I added uh, um, a little notebook for additional journey journaling. And it wrapped around onto this page, which then I get, I have three tuck spots with tags. Sorry, I'm trying to keep the angle of the camera. And then I used um, this vellum that already um, had this beautiful foil printed on it um, and made an additional pocket in the front with another card. Um, this again is all using coffee dyed paper. So it kind of, I don't really want to say it's a vintage style um, because I have bright colors and I, I just love this teal color. Um, but it is very easily could be um, a vintage style. It's got the lace and, it, and the colors and the coffee dyed papers. Um, this is a belly band like I showed you in the other one. And here's the journaling card. Um, the difference with this belly band 
is you can see it's tied here with some eyelash um, trim. And then this belly band opens up like that and it folds out like that. Um, if you can see all that. So again, you can leave a little bit of room for journaling there. Um, or you can decorate it up, whatever suits your fancy. Um, but again, it's just uh, adding that interest to your book and what you want to do. If you have certain things that um, mean something to you and you want to put those as your decorative pieces, I mean, most certainly that's pretty much what the whole book should be about anyway. Um, I'm just, like I said, a lot of people, we decorate them with use up scraps and things of that nature. Anyway, again, a vellum pocket with a card. And there's the page behind it. Some more journaling. Here's another fold out. The front, again, I added that vellum with the gold on it. You have a front pocket here for a tag. This folds out. This is the same tag from the front. Here's another pocket. Actually, there's two pockets here. Then there's a bigger card on the bottom and a small card on the top. And then this folds out again. And here I just have one piece of lined paper for journaling. And that again wrapped around the edge. And again, I did a pocket um, for journaling cards and then an additional pocket in front of that for another card. Um, here's a big tuck spot for journaling card. These are two, again, of using envelopes um, to make pockets. Um, they're pretty easy. You just cut your used envelope and then put something on the top, punch a, a thumb hole that, or a tab there, and then you just glue them on your page. So they're kind of quick and easy. And again, I can show you how to make all these elements if you guys are interested. Um, here's, again, those layered pockets using book page. Um, this one's kind of cool. It has little tag pockets for tags, but each one of these flip up and you have a coffee dyed lined paper there. So you have a little journaling spot in each one of these as they flip up and then the tags help keep them, keep them folded down. And then I just bordered it with some lace. Here's a, a corner pocket. And in here, again, a tag journaling card. And then I just, again, played around with some of my scraps from trimming out the coffee dyed paper and just made a little booklet um, for some additional journaling.